I'm going to go see if my channel locks are big enough to get on the pipe to fix what was broken by the cattle the other day over at the building site. So I'm going to grab my channel locks and then head on over. Oh, boy. I can tell by looking at these. Though it's not even close to big enough. I'll have to figure something out. Interesting. Interesting little guy. Maisie, that's not going to be near big enough, so I'll have to buy something, but... I'm going to walk over there anyway and take a little video. Man, the weeds are really coming up. Well, weeds and the wildflowers, I guess. <laughs> They're both coming up. They're both pretty. I mean, the weeds aren't really pretty, but the flowers are pretty. All right, I'm heading over there. What you doing, sweetie? Oh, I'm making salad. Okay, good. All right, I'm trying my HDR today to show you all the pretty, pretty colors show up in Jamaica and hopefully this won't be too herky-jerky because I'm doing it on my camera instead of on my I mean on my phone <laughs> instead of on my camera this is the noonie but there's several noonie trees down here there's that one and then there's another one over here This is the second window of the of the kitchen. And here's our dining room window. It's gonna be great big huge and go down low. And the dining room kind of sits back in. Maisie wishes I hadn't done that because she wants a bigger dining room, but I think it'll be okay. I think it's big enough. And it adds a little character to the house too, you know, having the, not just having one big long flat wall. And this here is gonna be a little storage area for, you know, if we need a water pump. Oh, we're gonna put our, our gas, our uh, propane gas in there for the kitchen and just different things like that. We'll go in there and just a little storage. So accessible from the outside, things that we just don't really want in the house, you know, certain chemicals or something like that. And there's the veranda from the outside. We're gonna have fancy blocks here on the end between us and the neighbors on both. They really don't have a window on their house right there, but not a huge front veranda, it's more just a little entryway. And we're gonna have a big low window here in the front. Yeah, and then there's the window to the steps and we'll just keep jogging them back and forth all the way up. Anyway, I wanted to measure this damage on the tank so I know what size of a wrench I'll need to pull this off with. So let me just kind of put my finger here and measure it. Looks like if I got something just past, that would just go past my second knuckle on my index finger on my left hand. Anyway, while I'm doing it, I might put a valve on here. So here's the front of the, the house, how it'll look from when you, when you drive in the gate. You know, when you're driving the gate, this is what you'll see, just like this. So, we're pretty happy with it. I'm gonna take the pipe that the cattle broke off. I just thrown it up here in the veranda, but I'm gonna take it back over to the house because I wanna to try to clean it up. Because I don't know if I have quite enough left on that. 
I don't think I do. I don't think I'm going to have enough on there. Rats. Maybe I can... Maybe I can cut just a little bit off there where it's broken and put a union on there and then put another stub. It'd come out a little farther than I like, but... And also I could put it sideways too, have it come out and go straight away sideways and then block it in that way a little better. How I'll mess with it, see what works out. But I'd like to just use this valve and everything, but man, it's all messed up from the, from the cattle doing its thing right on top of it. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, I just wanted to come grab this piece of plumbing and see if my channel locks be big enough which they're not i did want to tell you guys too that we've got like three hummingbirds living in the banana walk over here so and they love our our pomegranate they love to come up and eat on our pomegranate pollen the one pomegranate is just barren like you can't imagine if you watch the video that we put out yesterday going to hampton court and exploring there the one man that we saw on the motorcycle and talk to. He's the man we got our pomegranate from. Bless up. Be sure and like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, Red Button Journal. See you then.